Welcome to another Mocket tutorial. In the last video, we talked about creating button hover and tab switches using widget state. In this episode, we'll continue to use widget state to learn how to create a pop-up window, an automatic pop-up window in a prototype. Now let's see how we can make it. So you can see here's a website, and we are going to create a pop-up window for this login option. We've got the pop-up window here, and all the interaction we need? is when we click on the person icon, the login window will pop up. Also we can close it down. So here we need a close icon here. I just head over to our built-in widget to get the icon. Drag and drop it to the right place. And I'm gonna change the color to Starbucks color code 396844. Since the pop-up window is done, we need to grab a rectangle as the background. Cause as we preview at the beginning, when the window pops up, it kind of grayed out the background. So let's set the same width and height as the website. And give it no border? Give it a full of black. Then just lower down the opacity to 50%. And send this rectangle back? Align them to horizontal and vertical center. I'm gonna group the background and the pop-up window, and name it to pop-up group. Now I'm going to use widget state to create a pop-up interaction. To do this, just simply select the group, and click add widget states on the properties panel. As you can see, here are two states. We'll rename them to hide, and display. In the hide state, we should hide all the elements. So we just select the group, head over to the properties panel and click hide. Ok, the states are set up. Now let's exit the widget state and start to create the interaction. Choosing the person icon, we should link it to the display state. So we head over to the event section to create event. For the action, choose changing widget state, and select widget pop-up group, and the display state. So we still need an interaction to close down the window. Double click and enter into widget state. In the display state, I'm linking it to the hide state. Now all the interactions are done. Let's exit the widget state and move the pop-up group to the home page. Let's preview to see the result. Isn't it amazing? So the clicked pop-up window is done. Maybe you are thinking that what if we make the window automatically pop up? That's easy. Let's move forward to see how we can create an automatic pop-up window. This is another menu page. All we want is when we enter into this page, a discount window will automatically pop up. So as I did for the last pop-up window, I'm grabbing a rectangle as background and set every detail appropriate. Then send it back. Align to the center and group them. I'm gonna add the pop-up group as widget state. And name the two states as hide and display. For the hide state, I'm hiding every element so we can start to create interactions. To let the window automatically pop up, we need to set a timer event for the hide state. Choosing the hide state, and head over to the events section. I'm creating a timer, and link it to the display state. Then set the timer to 1 second. Let's preview. The window has automatically come out. But if we want to close the window, and don't let it show up anymore, we need another interaction to bring it back to the menu page. So here we need another state. We just borrow the hide state, and name it to back. For this state, we don't need the timer anymore. So we can delete it. And link the close button to the back state by simply drag and drop. Ok everything set, let's exit the widget state and move the pop-up group to the menu page. Let's preview to see the final result. Thanks for watching, in the next episode, we'll create a swipe to delete effect. Please stay tuned and see you in the next market tutorial.